A very good morning to all. Today, in this lecture, we will talk about demultiplexer. What is demultiplexer and what is the use of multiplexers and how to design a demultiplexer we will discuss here. So first of all definition of demultiplexer. A demux, uh, the short form of the demultiplexer uh, is demux. A demux is a digital switch with a single input source and a multiple output destination. So DMUX, uh, uh, first of all I would like to mention DMUX is a combinational circuit. Okay, So this is a combinational circuit. And uh, it is just the opposite of the multiplexer multiplexers has many inputs one output dmux has one input and many outputs so where we are going to apply the mux then of course we will apply the dmux also on the other side the select lines determine which output the input is connected to so out of one input because uh, we have one input so uh, one input uh, is the part of which output that is selected by the select line okay select lines are those which select the input or output uh, like in mux or dmux the example or application of dmux is just the opposite of the mux so you, here you can see just I'm trying to and uh, this is the this is the uh, single source and I mean input this is the input and this single input okay then uh, many outputs are connected with this single input so at which output this signal this single input should be terminated I mean uh, these are selected by these select line A and B so if the value of B and A is 0 0 then this laser printer which one is a laser printer this one will be selected if the value of B is 0 1 then fax machine will be chosen then if the value of A B is this one then color inject printer this one will be the part of output and if the value of select line is 1 1 then pen plotter will be selected okay so this is the application of tmux now uh, let's elaborate more about the dmux a DMUX has one data inputs while in MUX we have 2 to the power and out inputs and here we are having 2 to the power and outputs where N are controls or selections line that is selection line okay a DMUX routes or connect the data input to the selected output so at which output the input should be terminated uh, should be uh, conveyed it is selected by the control lines or selections line the value of the control inputs determines the output that is selected okay a dmux performs the opposite function of the multiplexer so this is the point okay it is just the opposite of the multiplexer so if you know what is the function of multiplexer then you can understand easily what is the function of demultiplexer okay then uh, let's move on how many type of dmux we have i mean 
uh, with respect to the select line so uh, one is to two select line in this one one will be the select line one to four that is it will have two select line one to two eight three select line one to sixteen four select line so this is just like uh, comparing if you have two to the power n and what is this this is the outputs okay so what what will be the uh, if you have the output if these are the outputs then what should be the number of select line for this output so just you can compare if you have the four outputs then two to the power n okay just i should uh, change the color because uh, it will impact more so two to the power two is equal to to the power n by comparing the power n is equal to two so uh, this is the case in this one so these are the n is equal to two select line if we are having four for 16 if you are having the 16 outputs okay 16 is equal to two to the power n so uh, what should be the uh, power of uh, 2 if equal to 16 that is 4 so this is 2 to the power n okay and this comparing the power of 2s then n is equal to 4 so in such a way you can calculate uh, the select line there is no need to uh, just memorize it you, you should understand it now let's move on uh, let's design one is uh, one is two to one is to four demultiplexer. Okay, so in this one, uh, this is input single input. This is the definition of demux one input single input and many outputs, and uh, th this is inputs and these are the outputs. Okay, so this is starting from y zero, y one, y two, y three. Okay, so number of select line kaise nikalenge then uh, uh, four output is equal to two to the power n okay then uh, two to the power n is equal to two to the power n comparing the value of so it will be just two selection line s not n s1 so these are the selection line which will decide at which output that input will be terminated okay or connected I mean at a time it will be connected with this one and when the value of uh, sorry but I'll, I, I, I should start from here okay if the uh, uh, value of S, S0 S1 is equal to 0 0 then it will be selected if the value of th that uh, 0 1 then it will be selected and if this will be the value of select line 1 0 then 1 1 okay so just see here uh, two table ah uh, yeah uh, just uh, i would like to mention one more thing that is uh, it is the first uh, it is the first slides in which are you are going to use this this is the enable what is enable in fact this is a control signals and which makes the uh, circuit uh, or um, logic circuits unable or disabled so if the value of e is equal to 0 okay then this is no disable okay the circuit is called disable that is no operation no operation will be done that is circuit is not active if e1 is equal to 0 that is uh, high or 1 then this is called enable enable okay so in this uh, if the value of e is equal to 1 then circuit will be operational or active i must say okay active that is uh, if e1 is equal to 1 
then this circuit will operate and you will of course have certain outputs otherwise not so please remember this thing that is e should e, 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 e what is e it is low or high if this is low then there is no output the circuit is not in operation and if is equal to one that is enable then you will get some output um, equivalent to the inputs okay then uh, this is the truth table of course there are six step to design a conventional circuits i think uh, you you uh, you know about that six step let you recall first is problem definition here what is problem definition we are going to design four is to one is to four d max then second is identify the inputs and outputs okay so we are uh, we have been identifying the inputs and output that is these are the inputs and these are the outputs and after that one uh, we need uh, to identify the uh, that is variables okay so what is that variable what is variable uh, so what is variable in fact uh, this is s0 s1 y3 y1 y2 then uh, y1 y0 etc okay and uh, this uh, this line uh, will be here after this one okay this will be interchange so please kindly change it this is the links ye yahan pe aayegi aur ye yahan pe aayegi so please correct it okay so when the enable is zero this is uh, like uh this is like s1 s2 s0 sorry then this is y3 this is y2 this is y1 and this is y0 okay and if the value of enable that is if the value of e is equal to zero so what is whatever is the inputs the outputs will be zero okay so output will be zero so these are the don't care condition what is the what whatever is the value of s1 and s0 it does not matter these these are the don't care condition then output in that case will be zero that is circuit is not active so to make the circuit active we should choose the value it should be high that is one then the value of uh, then the value of uh, this s1 and s0 is equal to 0 0 okay in that case the inputs uh, these are the uh, selection line then uh, the inputs will terminate on y0 okay if the value of then all uh, we are making all enable now if the value of uh, s1 0 and s uh, s not 1 then the uh, uh, we will get the output at y1 and if the value of s1 1 and s not 0 then what will we get we will get the output at i2 that is here sorry here if the value of y y is equal to s0 is equal to 1 1 then output will be at y3 so these are the simple thing nothing uh, to uh, remember just you need to understand okay it is easy now you have to write down the uh, boolean expression for y not y1 y2 y3 so uh, when whenever the uh, outputs are high just write down that one this thing you already no from the previous uh, lectures so why not this is why not so what is where is i in why not and what is the value of s not and s1 this is and this is e e as it that is e hai yahi rahega okay then s1 bar s not bar then uh, write the value of y2 y2 is this one sorry first y1 so uh, just see where is the y1 y1 is there and what is the value 
of y1 in terms of s0 and s1 kya value hai aapki that is e and this is s1 s1 bar and s0 because s0 is 1 and i uh, you have to remember this is i inputs okay inputs should be everywhere inputs are ki i gi okay then uh, similarly you can find out y2 and y3 where you are uh, you, where uh, the value of uh, y2 is having the outputs then uh, just uh, check the parallel um, values of s0 and s1 okay so it is the truth table and boolean expression now equivalent now the this is what the fourth step of conditional logic uh, design procedure then fifth one is the uh, boolean expression and sixth one is the uh, to design the logic circuit diagram so this is the logic diagram of 1 is to 4 marks okay 1 is to 4 d marks sorry so first of all uh, i have to connect because uh, input will be the part of all all uh, gates so first uh, i then enable also if e will be e, e will be high then it will work okay so it this is 0 and 1 okay so it is also connected with the all and gates now uh, what's about uh, rest of the parameter s0 and s1 so s0 and s1 because uh, they'll uh, be bar also so we are going to use the not gate so uh, if one not gate is connected with, with the uh, s1 and other is connected with the s0 now uh, just see we are going to implement uh, this uh, boolean expression okay so s e y not kya hoga? y not is, is is equal to e s one bar s not one bar i so you have to connect it you have to connect it that is e ko aap connect kar uh, that is i not is this so e ko connect kar dijiye. this you are connected e then aap inputs ko you are also connected now s not and s one bar okay s not s not is this one now equivalent to that one this is the s bar so this is the s not bar so it will be connected with this one and s1 bar also so this is the s1 this is the s1 bar okay this is the it will be connected with this one so one uh, y not is connected now go for the y1 y1 is uh, y1 is e s1 bar s not i so s1 bar first of all commonly we connected uh, i i is this one okay and then uh, e e is this one and then uh, what is the value of uh, s0 and s1 this is the value s0 and s1 bar so s1 s0 s0 this is the s0 this is the s0 so take the value of s0 and just insert here okay yeah this one okay, this one and uh, then uh, other s1 bar that is s1 bar s1 is this one okay so uh, this is the uh, this is the value of s1 bar so this will be connected uh, with this one similarly we can uh, just connect the value of y2 and y3 by just observing these equation here and finally you get the uh, 1 is to 4 d max i think this is uh, clear to all and uh, if it, if not clear please try to get it and uh, then proceed next question is implementation of 1 is 1 is to 8 demux using 1 uh, is to 2 and 1 is to 4 demux so uh, in this one what is the problem definition problem definition is we have to use, we have to design a 1 is to 8 demux and we have to use 1 is to 2 and 1 is to 4 demux so uh, first of all what we have to do then we uh, just uh, 
uh, find out the uh, truth table so these are the selections line how select how many selections line will be there eight because this is the eight output so again this is the so by this equations you can find out n is equal to n is equal to three so three selections line will be needed so what we are going s not s1 and s2 okay and there will be one more line which will be enable okay so uh, with the help of these inputs let's find out the combination of uh, these uh, s1 s0 s2 we uh, need to calculate the i uh, y not or output if the value of e is zero that is nabil is low then whatever is the value of input x we suppose uh, that is we don't care whatever this is zero or one it does not matter that's why we are putting don't care condition so the output will be zero all output will be zero you can observe here now when we make the e is equal to one or high and uh, then the selections like the selections line all are zero okay s1 s0 s1 s2 then this will be the inputs at y not input will be selected okay similarly uh, we uh, just find out the combination of s0 s1 s2 inputs 0 0 1 then y1 will be the part of that output okay y1 ka. similarly you can see that all uh, 0 to 7 that is 8 uh, input combination will give the particular output okay starting from y0 starting from y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 and y7 and that will be selected on the basis of s0 s1 s2 and these are the combination now uh, the next uh, that is we need to find out the boolean expression so uh, just find out uh, i'm not going to uh, that one because uh, here i'm just showing uh, the block diagram uh, you can uh, you can use your gates and now all okay and or so first of all uh, what we need we need we are uh, we are uh, using one is to two dmux so it is having one inputs and two outputs these are the outputs and the enable lines which will make the circuits enable and disable when the value of e will be one then it will active then of course uh, we have to use two one is to four dmux so for the value of uh, y0 to y3 the uh, one mux will be used and for rest of the y4 to y7 the uh, y mux the mux to d mux to you will be used just you can see we are using y0 y2 y1 y2 y3 so it will be selected with the help of selections line because uh, each uh, uh, mux d mux is 1 is to 4 so two selections line will be here s0 s1 and one uh, more that is because one is to two obviously mandatory hogai that it will have only one selection line okay as per the rule then how it will work let's find out this symbol this thing also uh, we have explained the max so same thing will be here just check the truth table of uh, one is to eight marks so what will happen if when the value of is s2 will be zero that is s2 zero i'm not talking s0 and s1 i'm just talking about s2 because we are going as we are going to apply s2 on first mark that is one is to two d marks okay so this is zero 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 when the value of uh, s2 that is s2 is zero this uh, is zero okay then this this dmux will be an operation okay just you can see here and if the value of s2 will be one then this uh, 
DMUX will be in operation. That is, we will be able to have uh, Y4, Y5, Y6, Y7. So in such a way, it will work. Okay. So uh, you can, if you want to check uh, some uh, some data, so then you can uh, just check this one. If the value of, uh, uh, just take the example uh, of this one. Okay. So this is uh, this one. Just check this is zero and one one. Okay. So first find out. So this is uh, S two is equal to zero. Okay. And uh, S two is equal to zero. Then S two zero. Then obviously this is the first very beginning stream uh, which we which uh, uh, then this output will be. Uh, connected with this max with this one is to four first t max okay then uh, uh, then then the value of s uh, s one s not will be one one okay okay then uh, where is the uh, because it it is not the part of uh, it is not uh, connected it is de deactivated for the time being because it is selected by s two itself so s not s one is here that will be the output so that that input will be connected with this y3 output so in such a way you can design dmax also and uh, with the help of this uh, table just you can go the logic circuit diagram of course this is the uh, block diagram okay now uh, let's have uh, ex in exam uh, the question might be asked in many ways so you have to be uh, careful and uh, should know the basic funda or the basic things about the designing so this is the functions uh, we have done in this uh, also in the uh, max also so these are the functions which you are going to use there are two functions f1 and f2 okay these are the main terms that is in the form of sop don't worry about the sop or pos if you know uh, what is S sop and what is pos okay so uh, f1 f2 uh, these are the function and uh, we have to implement with the help of dmux so let's get how we are going to design it with the dmux so what will we do we uh, just uh, can observe that is if there are three variables there are three variables okay so uh, so if two uh, if three variable then this will be the eight 1 into 8 dmux okay and also you can see the maximum that is 7 it means it is starting from 0 to 7 dmux okay so uh, in this one we are going to use 8 1 is to 8 dmux uh, now rest is very simple so this is the 1 is to 8 dmux okay then uh, uh, this is the input which is connected with the logic one fine and this is the enable lines which are uh, which will, which will make the circuit enable or disable so we assume this is one for the circuit in operation test uh, whatever uh, main terms we have we are having zero to five seven okay zero to five seven zero to mm -hmm. zero to five seven okay so connected zero this is zero then uh, two this is also two and this is five and this is seven so connect these all outputs with this f1 okay and uh, uh, just check uh, the f2 that is m is equal to uh, that is sigma m is equal to 136 so where is 136 1 1 that is 1 3 and this is 6 so connected these uh, output with this or gate and it will give the f2 function so any boolean expression can be implemented with all combinational circuit whether this is add full adder half adder subtractor and coder decoder dmux max these are all interconnected okay so in this in such a way you can design the uh, boolean expression with this one similarly you can uh, 
design half header with the help of uh, this uh, dmux by just uh, finding the mean terms of half header full header full subtractor half subtractors or whatever if there are uh, if you know the boolean expression then with the help of boolean expression you can find out the uh, you can find out the mean terms and that mean terms can be converted into the outputs or inputs because that that is always the part of inputs and outputs so guys it was all about the dmux so uh, uh, it was simple and easy i hope and uh, if you're not getting anything please let you ask you have the right to ask uh, uh, we are making a lot of effort to make it easy and simple you can't believe when i record the when i record that lectures then uh, for the uh, for the half an hour for 45 minutes or for one hour we have to sit in a uh, closed room uh, just uh, uh, switching off the fan and all and uh, you know there is a lot of hot uh, humid uh, here and uh, one uh, and many times uh, there are technical fault that is sometimes uh, the software is not working sometimes uh, the mic is off and sometimes we have the hum then uh, somewhere we have the uh, just we forget the things uh, or somewhere there are error in the presentation or ppts and there are some fumbles so there are many problems and then we have to retake and you know things take time and it's very difficult sometimes so uh, however i will try my best anyways then if you're not getting please let me know and if you want to give some suggestion then you are most welcome uh, but most important take care of yourself okay and have a great time